and this is gonna be Ghost Rider story time today I'm gonna relate to you two different tales one is a tale of love a definite tale of love and the other tale may just be a tale of hate but I'll let you be the judge in determining what kind of emotion surrounds the details of that second tale. That was our tale of love. And just like the yin and the yang, the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly, we gotta look at the tale of hate. Possible hate, I must say. I'll let you make your own determination after I relay the details to you. I mentioned earlier that, you know, today was a beautiful beach day for me. Went out there to the beach. Yeah, I, I took uh, Red Scorpion out there, you know put her in the parking lot while I got in the water did some snorkeling a little bit of shell diving and it was a beautiful time got done started to pack things up had my beach towel and snorkeling gear and boogie board swim trunks you know all the things you need to be in the water at the beach now, I cleaned up everything as much as, as I could before putting, a, putting them back in Red Scorpion. You know, wrapped up my beach sandals and, and a little towel after I, uh, you know, washed everything off at the shower stand. And, you know, drying everything off and drying myself off, towel got wet. So I decided I wasn't going to put the towel, you know, inside Red Scorpion. I just roll it up and put it on the seat underneath my uh, boogie board which was on the back seat strapped down and I just thought I would have been able to head on home and that towel would be safe well got on the road next to the intercoastal waterway there and started to <clears throat> started to head on home another motorcycle came up behind me a husband and wife couple on it and uh, you know they were riding with me for quite a distance and uh, finally when I made a, a turn off you know they kept going straight so got home started to unload the bike took the boogie board off snorkeling gear out and everything and then I realized my beach towel was missing I'm like, doggone it. I got that beach towel in the Bahamas and uh, kind of hard replacing that. So I said, I better go look for it. So I would try to ret retrace my route back to the beach. And wouldn't you know it, along that road next to the Intracoastal Waterway, when uh, that other motorcyclist was following me, there lay the beach towel in the middle of the road. Now, this couple, you know, they rode behind me for quite a distance. Eventually got to a light, they came up beside me. And they weren't on a wing, they were on a Harley Davidson, if that makes a difference. Okay, nobody waved. No biggie. A lot of other Harley riders had been waving throughout the day, so I didn't give it much of a second thought at the time. But when I picked up my towel, and I told Lady Ghost about it, I mean, what is that about? And, uh, you know, she had the same impression I had about it. Now, I'm not going to say right now. I'm going to let you all comment in the comment section what you think. I mean, I've been riding before all the motorcyclists. 
and somebody's uh, ball cap blew off. It was sitting on their back seat. They were riding a Harley. Well, it didn't matter much to me, you know, just an motorcycle rider. His cap blew off and he didn't know about it. I stopped, picked his cap up, and he had taken off. So I had to twist the throttle catch up to him, finally caught up to him at a light and say, hey buddy, you dropped your ball cap back there. And he was thankful, he was appreciative. And we went our separate ways. Now, I think of all the opportunities that motorcyclist had behind me for all those miles after my tower blew off. Flash a headlight to the horn. You get beside me when we're going in different directions, you know, give a signal or something. Not one word. So, y'all tell me what you think about that. Maybe later on I'll come back and revisit this topic and say, remember that vlog I did on love and hate or possible hate well, I'm going to tell you exactly what I thought about this situation but you let me know what you all think all in all it's still a beautiful day I'm over 100,000 miles now 100,001 miles on Red Scorpion and we're loving it well thank y'all for coming back with me again YouTube glad y'all waited around while I took my brief hiatus and uh, hopefully I can keep things uh, coming out pretty steady from this point on but you know we'll see but thanks again for watching hit that like button if you like what you've seen and heard today and don't forget to subscribe Red Scorpion and I Ghost Rider we appreciate it for now it's Red Scorpion and Ghost Rider and we're 10-7.